three real estate myths dispelled. Real estate investing is not worth your time. The industry is very, very unpredictable. You are too young and broke to actually invest in real estate. You have no money or no experience to invest in real estate. Or you lose money if you invest in real estate. Do you know what all the statements have in common? They are all myths. So if you don't know where to look, you cannot be able to dispel this type of myths about real estate investing. And today, this is what we're going to be doing. Let us start with number one. Real estate investing is not profitable. Seriously, there are people who believe that. They think, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy a property now. I'm probably going to make money up to 20 years after paying off my bond and everything else. And then, you know, I'll start making some, you know, breaking even and making money. So this is not something I'm going to buy and start doing tomorrow because it's going to take time to make an income. Oh, maybe this thing is not about making money. We just buy a fancy property and keep it there for whatever reason. I don't know. So a lot of people might think, you know, this thing is not even profitable. But look, I'm going to tell you different. If you do it correctly, you do your homework, you know where you're investing, you pick the right location and be able to run your numbers before time, you're going to know exactly how much you're making because you can be able to collect your rental income, pay all your expenses, operating costs, and still have some money coming over into your pocket. And you can even benefit and profit still when you're having a property manager and you don't have to do everything by yourself. So it is profitable. That's the myth number one that people talk about a lot. Second myth about real estate investing. Real estate, real estate investment is unsafe. 90% of billionaires in USD are either investing or owning some plot of real estate. And you're going to ask yourself why even Jeff Bezos, the richest man currently, owns some real estate. Look, it all comes down to this. For people who say, okay, is real estate safe? You know, you know, is it something that I can do, um, you know, and reduce my risk? And also, um, does it really work? The list goes on. I often get asked all these questions all the time. My answer is simple. For you not to lose money, you must be able to learn how to do it right. There's a saying by my mentor, there is no bad deal, but a bad investor, meaning you must be a good investor enough to know what a good deal is. And how do you do that? It's simple. Always pick the right location, waste an ongoing or growing population of people, not where people are leaving. I think we touched on that on a previous video, and we're going to go into the details on the next video as well. And also the number thing is always run your numbers. I think we went through that and also went through this video. You must watch after this called three ways to optimize your return on investment on a property because your numbers are only leading you to one thing, your return on investment. How much return are you getting for your investment? And last but not least, pick your tenants very, very wisely. You don't want to be one of those people who did not do good credit checks, uh, who don't have uh, tenants who are in good standing and who have tenants, um, you know, who are, you know, maybe level C tenants in terms of grading and that are going to increase your chances of getting a high vacancy rate. So that is also something that you want to keep in mind. So another myth that is very, very fun. We hear it all the time. <laughs> Everybody talks about this. You are too young to invest in real estate. Look, seriously, you are too young and broke, actually. To invest in real estate so real estate in, in order for you to invest in real estate you need to be old and you need to have the money maybe in cash and you need to be rich when you think about you know uh, real estate um you usually think about a middle-aged white man um you know who's probably you know somewhere working been working for 15 years and he's starting to buy a property and he wants to buy it cash or somebody who's buying with his retirement money or somebody who inherited a farm and he's selling it and buying and uh, those are the type of you know images you have in mind but let me tell you according to these stats the investors demographic, according to the stats recently that I'm going to read to you right now, the investor demographics has changed a lot and is more diverse and now is getting younger all the time. So I'm going to read you a few stats right now. Lightstone's property, um, uh, uh, Lightstone Properties December newsletter reported that the majority of the first time home buyers are single women. Imagine. So this is not something you're expecting as well. Another thing. Realty Share stated that 20% of millennials believe that real estate is the best performing investment since 2000, the year 2000. So a lot of millennials as well are realizing that, look, we're going to need uh, bigger retirement funds. 
We need to be building wealth and we're not coming from our privileged backgrounds, many of us, and we have to do something for ourselves so we can put our kids and our grand -grand great grandchildren in a different position than we were when we were starting out as well. And also another one from FNB. FNB said that 44% of property buyers in South Africa are under the age of 40. Imagine under the age of 40. So mostly millennials, you know. So long story short, real estate is hard work. It is cutthroat. It can be. You just have to know what you're doing as well. And, uh, you know, you need to have a good, uh, a very, very thick skin. That's something that um, uh, my, one of my mentors taught me as well. You need to have a very, very thick skin to be able to get into the industry. Don't be scared of rejection. Don't be scared of putting in offers. And don't be scared of looking for deals. And don't be scared of looking for money and take the risk and do it anyway while you're feeling the fear. So at the end of the day, it's all about investing in you. It all starts with you. Don't mind the myths. They're going to uh, dis uh, distract you. You must be focusing on investing in yourself and getting started. And if you want to get started and you don't know how to get started about real estate investing, first of all, you need to figure out what type of an investor you are. There's a link below. You can be able to complete the survey in five minutes. You can be able to do that as well. You have, most of you guys go shopping for real estate without knowing how much you really qualify for. There's a five minutes pre-qualification all online that you can do as well below as well. If you want to read a book about how to invest in real estate with no money, we have a free ebook. You can check it below as well. And if you want coaching or any sort of you know, mentorship with me directly as well, get in touch. There's an email below that you can send us an email or something. Otherwise, guys, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I hope you guys are going to be enjoying your Christmas. I'm super excited, man. And I'm still uh, eating and breathing and dreaming real estate investing. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.